Hey guys, very good evening to all of you. Welcome to the video number 443. My name is Ajay Parmar and uh, today we are going to talk about uh, the pivot, right? And uh, this uh, actually video uh, I'm going to uh, uh, upload specifically for those people who, who who are actually going to appear for the VBA interview and uh, in that interview if, if you if you let let us say that if, if they ask you the questions related to the pivots then I think these are the most um, you know the possible questions uh, you can face in your interview and I wish you the be wish you best of luck for this and uh, if you're watching the channel for the first time then guys uh, on this channel we have 443 videos on Excel Excel VBA access and access VBA this is my channel name and what you can do is you just need to go to the front page of the channel click on the playlist and you would find here all the 45 different playlists these are all playlists which which we have uh, where we have actually uh, you know uh, uploaded the videos on access access VBA MS Excel and Excel VBA right now this uh, video which I'm going to talk about th this video is new but you know we, we have already got many videos on the Excel VBA access interview series right you need to just scroll it down and you would uh, need to find a with a playlist which says that uh, Excel VBA access interview questions now you can see here I have uploaded here 45 videos and they are all the videos on Excel access VBA right so just go there and search by the title and uh, if you're looking for the VLOOKUP search by the VLOOKUP see that with which video title talks about the VLOOKUP if you're looking for index then see that the index video is there on the you know going by the title and similarly for the VBA and the access right and this is a by the way uh, the playlist which I'm going to show you just pause the video and you can note it down these are all the playlists which you're supposed to watch in the sequence right because you guys keep coming to me and this you ask me that because we have so many videos on the channel now as on date so it's difficult for somebody to start the training you know, if they want to learn from my channel right however I give personal uh, online trainings as well so if you're looking for this uh, YouTube learning then this is how guys you actually need to start the you know watching the videos one by one right now let's come to the topic and let us start so I have actually got three uh, questions for you on the pivot and these are the questions I'm going to talk about today now before we start I just want to make uh, one thing very clear guys that this is not basically a video where we are going to talk about the basics of the pivots right I I uh, so I assume two things uh, that first you know the pivots in Excel very well and the second thing is that you have uh, you know uh, the basic idea that how to create the pivots on the VBA right if you do not know how to create the pivots in Excel or VBA no worries what you need to do is you can go to this uh, you know uh, the playlist and you can watch excel charts and the pivots so watch the videos on the pivots i talked about the pivots how to use the pivots in the excel and if you are somebody who who wants to learn the how to make the pivots in the excel using the vba then here you would see the same playlist but with the title of excel vba charts and pivots right this is only the excel charts and pivots and this is excel vba charts and pivots so please go and watch that right so right now the first question we have here is how do you delete the first pivot so basically in the question what they have done is they have given you these three pivots and this is the first pivot guys this is the second pivot and this is the third pivot right now what we want to do is we want to prepare a macro which is going to delete this pivot this is the first pivot now how you actually going to do that this is something we are going to learn today we are actually going to make the code you know of it because this is an interview video so when you go to the interview obviously you know the things right you have prepared for the interview that is why you go to the interview to uh, with, with this aim that you are going to crack out the interview so I'm not here to talk about the basics simply let's go ahead and let us go to the VP window and I'll share the code with you I'll share the snippet with you right and I, I, I'll also try to explain you of course it's not just the code I'm going to give you but I will also explain right uh, so the first thing which we need to do is uh, when you go to the analyze option when you click on this pivot when you when you select any pivot part you know you get to see this pivot table tools option right and this this you see in every version if you're using 2007 or any 2007 onward version you get to see this pivot table tools now I'm using 2016 guys so I get to see here analyze but I think in your if you're not using 2016 you're using 2013 or 10 uh, or 7 you know you you don't see this analyze I think there is a layout 
uh, in the ribbon command the button name is the layout right but you just need to click that and this is where you get to see the pivot table name so guys this is a pivot table one you can see and this is my pivot table two you can see that this is the pivot table two and this is the basically the pivot table three so we have got all the pivot tables they have their names pivot table one pivot table two pivot table three now what actually we want to do is we want to delete the pivot table one using the vpa right so what you need to do is you need to go to the developer tab hit on the visual basic and in the module one we are going to write the program it's a very simple program but very powerful so we we'll, i'll start writing the code here and let me just go and close this so the name of this is uh, my uh, first you know this macro is going to be question number one right all right so now i'm going to uh, first of all you you need to run the loop you need to see that how many loops you have gotten in this actually sheet the sheet name is q1 okay so what i will do is i will first of all declare an object which is pvt for example uh, you can write anything here this is just the object name and you declare this as pivot table this is how you declare the pvt as pivot table and the se second thing is which i want to do is i want to declare my worksheet so i'm going to write here wss worksheet this is how you write and then what you need to do is you just write the sheet name here so i can write here sheet and the name of the sheet which is q1 right so in this way what will happen when i'm going to run my now for each loop which is a collection loop uh, i'm going to refer to this ws right so i will simply write here that for each my pivot for each my pivot in my worksheet which is ws pivot tables then next next pvt next pvt right so now what will happen if you if you just run this uh, you know code right now let me show you if i just put the message box and i say that i want to get the name of the pivot now when i run this pivot you see what will happen you will get to see the pivot table one pivot table three and pivot table two right so we got all the pivot table names now i want to delete the pivot table one so message box i'm just going to de-highlight it because this is we don't need that right so you're gonna put the question here you're gonna put the if condition here that if the pivot table name is going to be equals to uh, wh whatever the name we have pivot i think the name of the pivot was pivot one right and if, if that is the case then do something so here we are going to actually delete it so i'll just write that else and if else don't do anything right so this is how guys the code is going to be written so else else means that if it is not if that is not the name then do nothing right now do nothing i'm just writing for the sake of clarity right for the sake of convenience you you, you should understand what actually uh, this else is all about this is a another window this else actually is a separate you know area and this then which you're going to write here this is a separate area but before i do that i write the code for the to delete the pivot i just want to make sure that i should be having a correct spellings right and so this is the pivot table one so i just copy this and i'm going to paste that here remember pivot in in excel vba uh, these if functions are key sensitive right so i write this now what is the next thing i would like to do well the next thing you would like to do is you write here pvt dot table range 2 and then you're going to clear it okay this is what you're going to do it pivot table range 2 dot clear that's it guys and let me just get get the rid of it i delete this okay so now i'm going to run this and let's see what's going to happen so this is where you can see all the pivots right so i just run f8 there we go what is the first pivot name so the first pivot name is pivot table one so that means it is going to execute the then part and look at this guys wow wonderful so we have got that pivot deleted now what is the next next pivot so the next pivot is pivot table three so obviously it is going to execute the else mode doing nothing about my pivot and then again you have another pivot which is going to be you know going to we are not going to touch that pivot so there we go so this is a simple right this was a very simple one so this is how you can write the code now let's go and let's talk about the another uh, question so what is the next question so we go to the question number two now what is the question number two how do you delete all pivots well how do you delete all pivots again we have the pivots you can see here these are the pivots now if i want to delete all the pivots guys then you know what i don't really need to see that what is the pivot name it could be anything because i want to delete all the pivots now then what you want to do is on the same this question right on the same line what you will do is you don't write the if condition okay so i'm just going to copy this code and i'm just going to paste this here okay and this is my question number two so this is what i will do and then what you will do is you just go and delete these lines so you don't need anything you just want to clear everything but one thing which i definitely want to do is i want to change the sheet name because then your ws is going to refer to as you know sheet number two right so because i'm on the sheet number two 
question number two that's my sheet name right so now if I just go and run this let's see what's gonna happen so I'm gonna run this there we go you see that the first table is deleted the second table is deleted and the third pivot is deleted and automatically we have guys all the pivots you know deleted very simple right so now let's talk about the another thing so let's go to the another question the question number three what is the question number three again I have got the three pivots and how do you delete all the pivots after user writes the pivot name in the input box so this is actually something that we are going to talk about the how you can actually ask the user that you know uh, which pivot actually he or she has to delete right so in that case guys uh, what we can do is we can put the message box we can say that this is the pivot name would you like to delete it if he says or she says yes pivot should be deleted otherwise if user says no I don't want to then it should keep on you know uh, moving to the next pivot until it covers all the pivots so we already have built the code but this is very interesting situation so now what I'm going to do is so uh, let me just copy this entire code here uh, from the sub to the end sub and now let's go and let me press enter let's give some space here so now I'm just going to paste the code here and this is going to be the question number three now it is very interesting that how you actually going to show this you know to the user so now guys what we will do is I'm going to actually first of all when you run this loop first of all make sure that you should be on the correct sheet right so this is what I'm gonna write right now it's not necessary that you write this you know dim WSS worksheet and set WS equals to uh, sheet Q3 uh, well I'm doing this because I, I, I most of the time I like to you know make my objects very much clear but if you if you are on the Q3 and that begins the active sheet and when you're going to create the you know macro here when you're going to insert any let's say the you know the shape let's say the button obviously you will always be on the Q3 sheet so you can simply you know click on this and you can see that I want to assign a macro and that macro we can name it as uh, the question number three so what you can do is you can see that assign macro and then we are going to choose the question number three and there we go so when I run this the macro is going to run so that means I will be on this q3 sheet which is the active sheet so maybe you can do one thing guys instead of writing this sheet as q3 you can write here sheet ws equals to active sheet that is also fine and if you don't want to use these two lines you can comment in right what you can do is you can simply write here active sheet dot pivot tables but remember active sheet dot pivot table means that whatever sheet you have selected if you are running it from the VBA make sure you should be on the correct sheet if you are running from the Excel then obviously uh, you know this button will make sure that the user is should be on the correct sheet now what is the uh, next thing I want to do so the next thing I will write here the message box I'm gonna give here the message box and I will write that do you want to delete do you want to delete pivot which which has a name and then you can write here you know you can put the colons here uh, let me just increase the width of this code right so you can write here colon and then you can join this line with the pivot name right so we, we're gonna have the pivot name here okay that way so I just put this in the double quotes this is how it is right so the message box is going to be asked we're gonna have the message box here and once the message box is there if you see that the message box actually is clicked as yes so if we have to create the button here yes and no so I'm gonna write here VB yes and no right yes and no so if the user is going to say that yes I want to so so you're gonna write here if the message box equals to VB yes this is how we write right if the message box the value the button which user is going to press is going to be yes then what needs to be done well then what needs to be done is obviously you know that this line I'm just going to delete it and I'm gonna backspace it so the pivot should be deleted right else else it should go to the next pivot that's it right because user has two choices right yes or no so you can see that uh, if the message box is yes then clear that if it is not then just go to the next pivot so in this case now what I'm going to do is when I'm going to run this you know what I what I will do is uh, I'll, I'll show you first of all let, let me uh, run this from the f8 mode argument not optional so uh, what is the issue um, so we have here some problem okay um, I think uh, you need to declare a variable here called var uh, and then we can write here uh, the var equals to because whatever the value I'm going to uh, the button I'm going to press in the message box that should go to the var and then we're going to uh, use the var as well so I just delete that and this is my just a variable right so I declare it as a byte okay there we go so now when I run this there we go 
So now you see that, do you want to delete the pivot which has a name called pivot table 3? So I want to delete it. All right, so I say yes. Now when you say yes, you see that this var actually shows 6 and you have written here var equals to vb6. Now I talked about this in my one of the playlist excel message boxes and input boxes. So guys what happens uh, if you think that why I have declared this byte because you know uh, the when you press the button yes no or cancel whatever it is they have some numbers specific numbers if you just uh, if you just you know select the message box and you press f1 it is going to take you to the VBA help which I talked about uh, you know all this in my those are the basic videos on the message box. So these numbers have some specific number. So VBS is, has a number called 6. So either you write if var equals to 6 or you write var equals to VBS it's one of the same thing but I don't really go for the six number because uh, this makes uh, this makes it more readable to me because any any time if I'm looking at this I know that this is a VBS button but if you write var equals to six you should you must remember those numbers otherwise you know you will have to take the help of that uh, the message box you have to go to that help and you have to see that what actually six stands for right so that's why I don't use that but you should you should know both the things so now this table is going to be deleted let me see that now there we go you can see that in the background the table is removed right so once the table is removed uh, it is again going to go in the next pivot and now we have this pivot table too so I say that do you want to delete the pivot table too well I say no I don't want to delete the pivot table too I click on the new uh, no and then you know that the, if you press the no the var is going to have 7 value right so 7 is not going to work here right because this actually is 6 right VBS button uses a 6 as a you know number okay to represent its value so we will go in the else mode and your pivot is going to be safe and then last pivot we are going to have is the pivot table one so I say yes I want to delete it let's say I want to say I want to delete it so there we go now you can see that the pivot is deleted so this is how guys you have one pivot left and rest of the, all the pivots are deleted so when I run this you know what happens when I run this this is gonna give me only one pivot because I have just a one pivot so when I click yes this is going to be deleted so this is how guys you can actually work you know with the pivots and next time if you face any questions regarding to the pivot I hope that you will be able to clear your excel test so that's it guys uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll talk I'll, I'll come up with some another exciting stuff very soon till then you take care of yourself and have a fantastic learning